Bonjour and welcome to another episode of Heart to Heart with Henry. I'm Henry and today are, we are going to focus on how to apply an eyeliner without getting the skips and the bumps in your eyeliner. So you'll notice that when you uh, apply an eyeliner sometimes it skips and you get this uh, line that doesn't look straight. So I'm going to show you how to fix that today. Uh, we're going to be using a few different products. I'll walk you through that. You can see I've already got one eye done except for mascara. Um, so let me show you what I've done so far. I have um, applied my Prime It Boost It eyeshadow primer to the lid already. Um, and I put it on the lid. You can go all the way to the eyebrow if you want. Um, another thing that I'm going to show you is how to apply the eyeliner without making it skip. So what I like to do is tight line first by going above with my finger and just making little dots with my eyeliner. And of course you want to make sure you uh, sanitize your hands and sanitize the, um, the product itself. This is the Listylo uh, eyeliner from Lancome in the color chocolate. Uh, which is a deeper brown. I love this color. So you'll see it's just filling in a little bit here. And then I also like to take, oh, we'll twist it up just a little bit more. And I like to take a little bit and go in between the lashes. So you can kind of see that I'm kind of making a fuller lash look just by using an eyeliner and I'm not drawing a line what I'm doing is I'm making little tiny dots you can already see that it already looks really uh, much fuller and it's matching the other side so we'll do just a little bit on the inside here notice I'm doing this one-handed you'll see it's super easy to do and this can help you get a more professional eyeliner look without the skips and without the mistakes just by making little dots. So rather than drawing a line, you're just making little dots instead. You can do this with any eyeliner. I prefer this one, the Lee Stylo uh, Lancome Waterproof Eyeliner. It's amazing simply because it's waterproof and it's not going to move. Now let's finish up the look. So I'm going to take my blending brush with the eyeshadow color Honeymoon and I'm going to blend this really in no particular fashion everywhere over the whole lid right where I place that primer so we're really just going to go to town you can see there's a whole bunch of technique here I'm kidding there really isn't so just go to town so this is called honeymoon again placing it over the whole lid you get this nice even look um, again honeymoon it's beautiful and then I'm going to take my um, angled brush my Lancome angled brush and I'm going to take the color scorching and I'm just going to add a little hint of brown to the lid so you get this kind of nice uh, smoky look but you know what I want some color too so I'm going to show you a little bit of my favorite one of my favorite eyeshadow colors from Lancome right now it's gorgeous so again that was scorching it's a matte color um, eyeshadow from Lancome now I'm going to take my number 11 brush from Lancome along with Embers. Embers is a really uh, great warm color. It's got a little bit of orange in it. And I'm gonna, just going to make a little bit of a line here on the brow bone um, and blend it out just a tad. You'll see that that is starting to warm up and it's in the place that I want it, right on that brow bone. Uh, and then I'm going to bring it up with my blending brush once again in the color embers, bringing it even more dramatic, and blending it out. So we want this nice smooth transition. Now I'm going to go back to my honeymoon color with my blending brush, dip it a little bit and just blend it again all over. So it kind of softens the look. I'm going to go on both sides here. Softens the look. You don't have to soften it if you're, you know, got a night out planned or, um, you know, if you want a little bit more of a dramatic look. 
Uh, I'm at Macy's today at Mall of America. So I'm gonna go kind of in between with this look here. Apply a little bit more honeymoon up under the brow. Blend it out a little bit more. And voila, what do you think of that? So it's a really great way to um, perfect your eyeliner without getting super technical. All you're doing is little polka dots in between the lashes and then filling in under. Uh, I've got my own personal mascara here and it's called Lash Idol by Lancome. Many of you have probably seen my little video that I made on Idol. When this launched, I was fanatic about it. So I love this uh, mascara. It's a glossy black and you'll see that the brush is very unique. I just want to feature that really quick. Um, silicone bristles, 360 um, micro bristles as well, white tea extract, and it's a gel formula, which makes your lashes um, remain flexible throughout the day. Look at that, I love it, so good. Do the other lash as well. And that really completes the look. So again, really simple, um, really simple way to do your eyeliner without the bumps, without the mistakes. And this is using Lancome eyeshadow primer, um, three different eyeshadows in Honeymoon, Scorching, and Embers. And then also, not to mention the um, Listylo waterproof eyeliner. It is a twist up too, so you never have to sharpen it. It's all ready to go for you. So thank you so much for joining me again today. Uh, Heart to Heart with Henry. I hope you learned a little something. If you have any questions at all, feel free to comment below or write me a message. I'd be happy to answer your questions. You can find any of these products and more at Macy's um, at the Longcomb counter. And don't forget to ask for your free 10-day supply of foundation. I hope you guys are having a great day and thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.